Hello, and welcome to Tip of the Week by CAD Tech Seminars. You can check us out on the web at cadtechseminars.com or at therabbitguys.com. This tip will deal with visibility tricks. Visibility range, or the view range in Revit, can sometimes be frustrating, but it actually has a lot of power to it, and understanding some of those tricks can really make the difference in some of your projects. Uh, in MNP, MEP especially, because we have items that run underneath the floor, we have things that run up above, lots of stuff. So let's take a closer look at visibility. Now we also have another visibility or view range uh, video on our site also. So if you want to check that one out, it goes into depth and some other aspects. But let's take a look at it and how we can use uh, view range as a real power tool. So here we go. We're going to jump on over to Revit and I'm going to click on it here, see if we can flip back over to it. There we go. Now uh, in Revit you'll see here I have a sample file that I've created. It's very simple. We have two sets of walls. You know the ones, notice the ones that are zigzaggy, those are on the first floor. The ones that are at, let's say, are orthographic 90 degree angles, those are on the second floor. I'll go to 3D to kind of show that. I'm going to go to a little house here. And if we start to move around a little bit, I'll zoom in, and you'll see for this example that the zigzaggy walls are on the first floor and this rectangular walls on the second floor. That's it, so we can have a visual, visual separation between the two. Okay, so uh, I'm also going to go to the right view, and let's take a look where that plumbing is. You'll notice if I zoom in, we've got the toilet, and then we come down and we've got the, the plumbing coming down. It's about two foot below this level. So we've got a level right there, and it's about two foot below it. Now go to one of the elevations. You'll see the same thing at level 1 to 10 foot and we have the pipes underneath it. So back to our plumbing plan. Now the plumbing plan we're on the second floor. Now we want to show the pipes that go below the floor. So we go over and we adjust the view range. I'm going to scroll down here and I click on view range. Now I set it to negative 2 feet and then I have to set this to negative 2 feet because Revit forces me to do that and that's fine. We hit OK. So what we see now is we see the pipes that are below the floor but we also see the, f the walls that are on the first floor also. So you're like, ah, how can we, let's say, get rid of those? This is a simple tip, and uh, there are probably some other ones out there, but this is an easy way to deal with it. If I zoom in kind of close on these walls, you'll notice that one of them's thicker than the other, because this wall on the second floor, we're cutting through it back to view range. You'll see it four foot. We can adjust this up and down as needed. The, full, the one below is in the distance, and that's projection. So being that we know that, we can now go mess with the view range, um, or the concept of view range, and also with the visibility graphics. So type VG, and you'll see we have visibility graphics. Now, notice we have projection lines, and we have cut lines. Now, if we scroll down, we think about the wall, we actually cut through the wall on the second floor, but the wall in the distance, we can actually say, hey, wall in the distance, I want you to be white. Now, white is pretty much a no print, we hit OK, we hit OK, and notice that, boop, they all disappear. Pretty slick. OK, so you're going, wow, that was pretty easy. Um, and it is. Notice we still see the pipe that's below the floor. Now, now we're going to start getting a little bit of, a uh, little bit fancy here. We're going to go back to view range again. I'm going to spend a few minutes discussing the view depth. Now, if I take the bottom here, and I bring this back up to, let's say, one foot, or maybe, uh, maybe we'll come back to that in a moment, but I'm going to leave the view depth at two feet. So let me put this back to zero, okay? Because it's going to cause a problem when we'll talk about fixing, and I'm going to hit apply on that. Now, when I do that, you'll notice that the line got real thin. Like, hey, what happened there? What we have is the primary range and a secondary range. Now, they call it view depth. Personally, I think it should be called secondary range hyphen beyond, or just call it beyond, and that would make it easy. Here's why. View depth ties into a line type. That line type drives what this looks like. Notice my pipes are thick. Here, the ones that are above the surface, the ones below, below the, the floor, are thin. Let's check that out. I'm going to hit OK. Now, notice how they're thin. This one's heavier. Now, I'm going to type in uh, VV. And if we go look at pipes or whatever, now, there are no overrides here. So how come one's, being, one's thicker than another? What's actually being done here, it's actually being done by the view range. OK. And you see how it's in this one called view depth. Now, think of this as beyond. Okay, remember that. Hit OK. Now we're going to go up to Additional Settings, Line Styles, and you'll see one here that says Beyond. 
Now, this one just sits here, and no one even fools with it hardly, but here's where it really gets cool. I'm going to say, take the, the beyond, I'm going to say, make him hidden line. All right, hidden, and we hit OK. So now notice what happens. That line becomes hidden. Actually, anything that is in that range becomes hidden, and that beats the visibility graphics. So that override beats it, and you're like, oh, man, that's pretty cool, but I see my walls again. So now you're frustrated. Okay, we're still going to be okay. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to go back to view range again. Okay, and we're going to make some adjustments here. Now, let's take, take a, a minute and see what happens. In a primary range, if the bottom of this element, at the bottom, if, if our walls, these walls fall into this primary range, the layers work, or the visibility graphics. If the object falls within this range, then beyond picks up. So we're going to do a little trick here. I'm going to put in here a 1, excuse me, put a 1, and put in negative. All right. So by doing that, we're going to pick up those walls because they fall into this range also. I hit OK. All right. And notice they disappeared. You're like, whoa. That's how you can make it happen. So what we did was we're now telling the primary range up top is what's being driven by our visibility graphics. Once it steps into the view depth or beyond, then it's being set by this element here. By playing with these two tools, you can do some pretty cool stuff. So uh, that's the trick there on how to show your pipes below the floor and show them in a dash, dash format. If you have any questions or comments or need some help, feel free to give us a call at check us out on the web at kedtechseminars.com or also type in thebimguys.com. All right, have a good week. Thank you.